Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we are going to cover the numbers from minus 100 to 100, the positive number 100. Let's begin with our number line. Here in the center we've got 0. To the right we're just going to draw, draw a line all the way across and that's 100 all the way across. We're not going to write all the numbers down because there are just too many to write down. Now on the left hand side we do the same thing and over here it is minus 100. So we've got 100 which is effectively plus 100 on the right and we've got minus 100 or you can say negative 100 to the left. Now let's suppose you've got number 73. Now where would you find 73 on the number line? Well 73 it's not minus so it has to be on this side and it would probably be somewhere around here. So there we go that is 73. Let's put a little arrow there. So that is number 73. But now suppose you have number minus 37. Now where do you think minus 37 is? Well it's minus so it has to be on this side of the zero uh, this side of zero. And 37 is about one third of the way across. So it'll probably be somewhere around here. And we can label it here minus 37. Now you can see from this that 73 is a positive number. It's on the right hand side. Minus or negative 37 is a negative number. So that is on the left hand side. Now if you had to work out, let's say we wrote these two numbers down. We wrote down minus 37 and the other number was 73. Now which number do you think is larger? Is it 37 or is it 7 sorry is it minus 37 or is it 73? Now don't forget the larger numbers and I'm just going to change colors for this the larger numbers go on the as you go across the number gets larger. And as you go this side the number gets smaller. Now we know this, for example, let's say we had number 10 and we had 20. Well, 20 is larger than 10. That's a symbol for larger. 20 is larger than 10 because it is it has gone further to the right of the number line. So in this case, we've got minus 37 and 73. So which way does the arrow point? Which is a smaller number? Well, it is minus 37. It's pointing to the smaller number, which is minus 37. Let's take another example. This time, let's suppose we have a number over here, which is 51. So we've got 51. I'm just going to draw it in blue over here. So we've got 51 over here. But we also have a number on the left hand side. It is, and I'm going to use the same color for this, it is, let's just put it, it is minus 89. So let's write it down here. Minus 89. So we've got 51. Let's write this down. And on the left hand side, we've got minus 89. Oops, I'm not sure why I wrote the one. Minus 89. So those are our two numbers. Now, which number is larger? Is it 51 or 89? Well, same as the previous example, 51 is, has, is further to the right. Therefore, it is, therefore, it is larger. 51 is larger than minus 89. The arrow is pointing to the smaller number. The arrow is pointing to the smaller number. Now another way to write this down is you can say minus 89 
is smaller than zero. Well, it is smaller, isn't it? There we go. There's zero. But 89 is all the way to the left over here. But zero is smaller than 51. There we go. There's 51. Zero is smaller than 51. Now, if you work on this principle and go through the zero each time, you can't go wrong. So that is negative numbers from minus 100 to the positive number 100.